All right, for today's scene, we're gonna take a particular fight scene from Enter the Dragon. <laughs> off from a bridge position and does a park cell or a slapping hand technique and attacks with a back fist to the face. Okay, now he does that twice and from there he switches, okay, so it goes in the second time strike. Then he switches into the same park cell technique and strikes to the ribs and this is the one that O'Hara blocks. From that point he goes back up to the head which O'Hara defends and rather than use the park cell technique again he switches on the inside of the hand going for a lap out or a pull-in technique and finishing with the same back fist. Okay, now in a street situation this is a, a very effective technique. A couple of things to note. Number one, it wouldn't necessarily be from a bridge or touching hand position. So it means that the opponent would have attacked with a jab and you defend it with a forward or outer parry. Then you can see the sequence from there. Or, if my opponent's got a guard up, I could literally shuffle in using the park style technique to use the back fist. Okay? Another thing that makes this scene really good and effective is that Bruce Lee clearly uses strategy and the emotion and the force of the opponent. So I'll explain that to you. First thing is he's using strategy. So he's using the same method of park style or controlling the opponent's hand, striking up, knowing that the opponent's intention goes higher and that's when he switches down, okay? Like I said earlier, when they come back up, the opponent is expecting the same technique, so he switches. Finally, something to consider as well is that he's using the emotion of the opponent. So once you're actually slapping or attacking the arm, you're drawing a specific reaction and therefore using the opponent's strength against them. Because if you appreciate this point, if I attack the arm here, there's gonna be pressure the next time to stop it. And rather than, so as the outward pressure is coming in, you sneak under, taking advantage of that pressure to finish with a powerful back fist technique.